name is William Allen, Englishman, scholar, and cardinal of the most holy Catholic Church. When I was young, a wave of heresy swept across Europe. It began in Germany, where the Protestants fought bitterly until their heresies took bloody root. It was a deep wound to Mother Church. Indeed, my own country, England, fell not once, but twice. Oh, come now, William. You cannot keep pretending we have a Catholic country. There is a new queen on the throne, and Elizabeth has little time for popish dissent. There is no true monarch, but a faithful one. You're a fool, William, and the queen's men will be hunting for you. Oi, watch where you're going. A ship, I must go. Whatever port you please, as long as it is not a Protestant one. Then it's to Flanders you shall go, as long as your money comes with you. I fled to the continent, but not long afterwards I returned. I had to find out if my country really had submitted to heresy. Travelling in disguise, I took my mission to Lancashire. I can only thank you for your welcome. It is good to see that the faith is true here. Aye, and we're right glad that someone is here to celebrate the Mass. It is well. Jane! Mr. Allen! The Queen's men are coming for William! You must flee. Here, I have a donkey that you can ride to get away on. So again I fled to Flanders, and it was there, after some travels, that I realised what was needed. I knew that what the English truly required for their salvation were priests, and English ones. And for the first time in those dark days, I struck upon a solution as to how to train them. The university is more than willing to help your plans, however they can, William. Douai is an excellent place for your work. You will find it much like Oxford, except that in Flanders, where there are heresies, we fight them. We've got people coming already, Jean. It won't be long before we can have fully trained English priests, for the first time since the Protestants took control. And what will you do with these priests, William? Do with them? You know yourself that the English need priests. Will you attempt to get them back into England as you yourself did? To England we could. We can do the faith. A message from the Pope, Mr. Allen. We have been summoned by his holiness. Jean, look after the seminary. I must go. Your work in Douai has been noted well, William Allen. As a result of it, I suspect there will be many more Englishmen wanting to become priests. Would you open a second seminary in Rome? It would be my greatest honour, Your Holiness. You know, there are few men as devoted as those you teach, Alan. You have become renowned for putting the fire of God into men's souls. With heresy creeping across Europe, it is men we need like you more than ever. Heresy must not be tolerated. My priests will do all they can to keep the faith burning. And that heretic queen, will they manage to burn her too? Your Holiness? It was not a question you could answer. Go now, with all my blessings, Doctor, and light your fires. In turn, I shall see to mine. Grievous news, Dr. Allen. Cuthbert, Cuthbert Maine, has been killed cruelly by the English. Remember that you too are English, Edmund Campion. These losses are grievous, though, and we must find a better way of solving them. I also have a letter from a Jesuit, from Italy. He says his name is Robert Parsons. Interesting. Let me look. Those were the best days at Douai. We trained many fine priests, though many gave their lives for the faith. But the Protestants marched on in Flanders, and it was not to last. Dr. Alain, we must go! We must go, Campion! Can we not resist them? Faith should not be fled from Catholics have no place in the free states of these lands. Take your lies away! No end. We must flee to Rome. Perhaps there we can find safety. The Guise family are powerful Catholics. They will help us. Another letter from Rome? Ah, yes. Here it is now. You must go. It seems there is a disturbance in the seminary there. I can look after rebuilding the seminary. No, you should come.
come with me. The journey will do your hot young head some good, I think. Parsons, as much as I admire the Jesuits, I am not sure how you intend this. You have come to me with schemes of getting priests into Elizabeth's realm, and yet I cannot give you English priests. Alan can. His priests are already infiltrating the heart of England. And getting killed. The man is a teacher, not a planner. All I offer from my order is the technical skills needed to improve his operations. And you think he'll be amenable to that? I have had correspondence with him. He has the faith. All he needs is the Jesuits to supply direction. And extend their power in my church a little further? That is a question other men must answer. I serve only God, your holiness. Stop this rioting! Englishmen and Welshmen, at arms in the streets, and men of God, too? Have you no shame? Do as your leader says! Dr. Allen, I am Robert Parsons of the Jesuit Order. It is good to make your acquaintance at last. And not before time, either. Events are afoot, Dr. Allen, and it is vital that Englishmen are still prepared to defend the faith. Something that nobody knows as well as I. Your priests are doing excellently in England, I fear, in keeping the faith alive well. What some of us here in Rome are concerned about is that they are not able to do their work as effectively as they could. They are all truly faithful men, and giving the word of the Lord out to all who will hear. I have no doubt of this, but more is needed still. These men are dying too often, and have little expertise in converting those who have lost their faith. The Jesuits could give you that expertise. Whatever spreads the faith is a good and pure thing. Ah, this is Edmund Campion, a student of mine. As you say, your order has experience. And so I am here to offer our support to you. I propose to return to England myself, and take the faith with me. I can set up a better system, a network of safe houses for priests and so greatly aid the faith. I am ready. I will go with you. For the faith. I fear you are too hot-headed, Edmund. Yet I cannot overrule you. Each of us must fight this struggle as best we can. Have no fear, Doctor. The faith is stronger than any individual free will, and we must do good works however God directs us. God be praised. We should make preparations and leave come spring. It will be difficult, though. Even finding a sea captain prepared to take us on the voyage may be a struggle. That problem at least I can solve. Captain Marlow is a good man. You will often find him in the ports of Flanders. He is not much.